people, people, people. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Let me tell you something. As a young content creator, I have learned something. So I had to bring out the pimp cane, because sometimes every, every, now, every now and then, you're going to have to lay the smack down on the mother man, Ron Eisler style. And, and, and recently... Y'all know who this man is. He went, it's a man by the name of Charles White who thought he was going to come to the clubhouse this morning while I was having a conversation with the legendary Amber Rose. We was chopping up about the black family. We was chopping up about how to save America. We had disagreements, agreements. We had good socialization and great conversation. And this man by the name of, I should call, I don't know whether to call him Charles White, Snitch, Rat Williams, whatever the f***. He thought he was going to come up in my platform and talk to me, talk to Amber, talk to everybody on stage. And I told him, I sit your ass down. Sit your muck ass the f*** down. Because, see, Charles White thought he was going to come up in here and have a, what they call a f*** your nigga moment. Right? That's what he thought. But, see, I put him in his place. So, he opened up a room, and this is what he had to say about me. So, so no, hold on. His daddy's name is Julio. His dad, and what's his real name? Austin Julio, bro. Yeah, man. So his dad and that. So why he? Oh, he want to be his daddy plus Dr. King. <laughs> light skin, light skin, yellow nigga. Oh, like, and, and he look fruit. That nigga look gay in the motherfucker. Well, Charles, I don't know that I look gay in the motherfucker. I just look better than your black. See, that's the problem with these old heads. It's always the ugly, old head, nappy-headed motherfuckers that barely got any motherfucking hell left, and he damn sure ain't got no good vision. Always want to talk on the youth. Now, Charleston, ain't you, don't you got a program called Hype that's supposed to elevate the youth? Well, compared to you, church, I got a whole lot more youth. You, in 1997, I was just learning what it meant to take a good shit. I was three years old, 97. I was born in 95. But you over here talking about a 20 damn seven year old. See, that is the problem with this new generation of old heads. They don't know their place. Over running around here talking about King Von, Nips and all that, doing all that snitching and whatnot. And see, this is the problem with the black community. It's, it's people like that. It's people like Charleston. It's people like Charleston White that got the most issues. Charleston, you want to talk about he want to be his daddy and Dr. King. Well, mother, first of all, mother, I know my daddy at least, Charleston. Okay? That's the first thing. Secondly, brother, as you continue to pontificate while you sound like an obsequious mendicant, and I'll leave you a dictionary reference link in the comments so you can understand what I just said. As you continue to pontificate at nauseam and be an obsequious mendicant full of this pedantic foolishness, I want you to understand, I don't just sit on Clubhouse. I actually have forward-thinking conversations that transcend platforms, brother. So before you run your mouth, first understand who you're talking about. And to address the whole Dr. Julio thing, those of you that know me know how I got the Dr. Julio nickname. What do I always say on Clubhouse every morning? Welcome to Austin Offscript with the with Dr. Julio, the best fake doctor on the app. No cap. I'm the best fake PhD you'll ever meet here or saying it. Yes, Charleston. Yes. I got my start as the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther the King because I don't know anybody else that can do what I do. You talk about being a character, baby. I, I, I was a character from birth. I was a conversationalist from conception. You don't know nothing about that. And see, my goal is to lead a brand new revolution, not an insurrection. But all you want to do is cause uh, 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 destruction and, and misdirection in the black community. And see, it's people like you, Charleston, is going to fail in the end. You know why? Because the gospel going to always win. Truth across the earth will rise again. And you, people like that, you got to watch them people. You got See, you got to watch them kind of... You got to watch them kind of like Charles White. Because, see, them, them, that's what you call, that's one of them old Judas and the Black Messiah type motherfuckers. That's one of them old, uh, they call them Benedict Arnold's, Charles. You should know history. You should know what I'm talking about. But Charles White 